Okay, I wanted to talk about my engineering marvel. I've created an 8 channel, but although 16 output, um, MIDI to relay system. And I've used the Arduino, or Ar Arduino, I call it Arduino. Uh, Uno R3. I don't know if we can see it very good in this picture. We've got the Arduino here. Um, and then I have MIDI in, which I used a USB uh, to MIDI uh, box I got off eBay for like four bucks. And uh, I ran that to my custom PCB board, or PC board, whatever. That's uh, something 400. It's a solderable breadboard. Um, I don't know if we can see the glowing lights there in the top of the screen. Uh, those are Sane Smart uh, 8 channel relay. And those each relay is connected to one stereo, which is or one pair here. As we can see there. And if I could redo this, I don't know if I would have used wood. Let's see if I can zoom out and show the whole thing. Um, for the for the box here. I think I probably would have I well, definitely would have avoided the blue style uh, electrical boxes are totally unnecessary for this. Oh yeah, and I do have a fuse, a five amp fuse I put in there where you can't really see I got it covered in electrical tape for safety. I guess but uh, that's that and so right now we've thrown together some pretty stupid my little this could be used for Christmas lights which I plan on doing but it can also be used for um, idiotic band type thingy so I have a little men we've created with uh, 10 gallon totes and lamps with aluminum foil so let me go ahead and show you that so we have to zoom out here let me go back to the studio here Okay, and what I'm doing, I'm, I'm using uh, Cubase to trigger all this business. Yeah, let's show you here. And I've got arpeggiators set on individual tracks because I actually wired the relays backwards uh, so that the relays are on, or that the lights are on without MIDI. So when they get MIDI, they turn off. And you might be able to see that on the screen just a little bit. I know this is kind of a real makeshift video. I normally do something a lot fancier, but let me show you what we got. Here we go. Okay, so the lights turned off. Okay, here we go. And the Cubase arpeggiators are doing all the work here um, in terms of like, the timing of the lights because I, I was really too lazy. Uh, this uses serial data MIDI, which means it can only transport uh, or only send one note at a time. Uh, it's the nature of, some, of this kind of uh, system, I guess. And... Um, what I uh, ended up doing, I just shifted each note with a little bit of random randomness in Cubase. Um, it's really good for that. Um, so kind of, it's similar to the humanizing features, but uh, it solves the problem of being able to send one note at a time. Now, when I say one at a time, I mean exactly at the same time. We can do more than one note. It'll, it'll sound just like a human chord type thing um, if we want to have even eight notes playing at the same time, but they just have to trigger, or trigger just a millisecond different or so. Actually, probably less than that. But um, you get the idea. Pretty silly, but uh, and the lights are really just cheap and dumb. But well, that's kind of what we were going for. Uh, Christmas time, I'll be able to use Christmas lights instead of this because they plug straight into the, the box over there. Um, I end up using this uh, off-the-shelf uh, was it MIDI to serial uh, Arduino sketches, and see the the MIDI in circuit was was uh, already uh, totally available. Uh, I, I didn't change anything. Uh, getting it right with the opto oscillator was a little bit strange because of the inverted version, but uh, I figured that out too. If you guys have any questions or comments, then uh, feel free to, to bug me. Alright guys, thanks, bye.